Hi, Rudy Winston from Canon USA with our in-depth tutorial series on the EOS 6D Mark II camera. In this second episode about autofocus custom functions, we'll deal with AF point management with the camera. Custom function 8 lets you set what AF areas will be available to you. Now, AF area is simply the size of your focusing point, whether you're working with a single focusing point, a cluster of focusing points, or using all the focusing points with the automatic focus point selection. With Custom Function 8, you can define which of these AF areas are available, and if there are some that you simply do not use, you can uncheck them in this Custom Function, and as you toggle through them in normal operation, they simply won't be available. You can always recheck them and put them back in the list anytime you like. Custom Function 9 is your method to change the AF area. The first option is the factory default, and that is to simply press the small AF area select button on top of the camera right near the shutter button. The other option in Custom Function 9 is to instead press the rear AF point select button and hold it, and then turn the top main dial. Custom Function 10 is one I really love and I suggest you give it a try, and that's Orientation Linked AF. If you set this to the first or second options, what this is going to let you do is set a focusing point for your horizontal pictures, set a different focusing point for your vertical pictures, and they are memorized. And each time you simply rotate the camera from horizontal to vertical, the camera will change focusing points automatically for you. It's a big time saver, and you can still move the focusing point locations from those memorized ones anytime you want. Custom function 11 is the initial focusing area used when you've got automatic point selection with AI Servo AF. In other words, all the points are active, you're focusing on a moving subject with AI Servo AF. Where is it going to start focusing? The factory default is auto. All the points are active. When you activate the focus, the camera will look with all 45 points, try to focus on the nearest subject, and then follow that subject as it moves either toward the camera or from side to side. The second option you have is called Initial AF Point Selected. And with this one, you're going to pick a particular starting point telling the system where to begin focus tracking with automatic point selection. This focusing point would be independent of whatever manual focusing point location you may have been using before switching to the automatic AF area. And the third option you have is called manual AF point. You're going to pick a starting point for the camera to focus with with automatic point selection, but by default, the camera is going to use the same point location to start with that you were using before switching into the automatic AF point area setting. And custom function 12 is called color tracking. And what this is going to let the camera do is use color information from the RGB metering system to help the focusing system identify where your subject is when you're using automatic point selection, and if your subject moves laterally across the frame to help the system identify where it is and put focusing points upon it. There's no question that focus point management is an important aspect of getting the most out of the EOS 6D Mark II's focusing system. And you have a number of custom functions here that are going to let you work either more quickly or more efficiently, and they can help you leverage the power of the automatic AF point selection area when that's the appropriate setting for you. In our next episode, we'll look at the viewfinder settings that deal with autofocus.